Hey Cancer, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and these are your deep thoughts for the first two weeks of July. Wow, Cancer, this is a big one. Look at all these cards. They're all crazy, right? Wow, this is a big one. This is a good one. This is a, this is, I am just in awe of you, Cancer. All right, so here's the deal. This is a general reading for the sign of cancer. If you have cancer anywhere in the remotest part of your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you. It is a general reading for the collective sign of cancer, the overall energy that stretches through the zodiac sign on the regular for the next two weeks, okay? Do not make life-changing decisions. Do not alter your life in any way whatsoever based on a general tarot card reading. If you would like one just like this, just for you, just for your situation, you can hit me up at the link in the box below and $50 will hook it up until August 1st. Now, those of you all who have been watching my videos, you know that I do $50 tarot card readings for my YouTube subscribers. However, um, since my radio show is kind of taken off and I'm getting a lot of foot traffic from that, people are going to my YouTube channel, which is awesome, and they're getting the $50 readings, which is awesome, but they're not subscribing to the channel because they're not like YouTubers, right? They don't get it. They don't get the whole subscribe, like, share thing, right? And if you like this, do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. But they don't get it, right? Um, because they're just like, they're, they're, you know, they're in their car doing their business and they just don't understand it. So I am getting screwed and I have to stop that. I have to put a stop to it. So as of August 1st, I will no longer be giving $50 tarot card readings for my YouTube subscribers. However, however, if you are my client, if you've had one reading or 50 readings, it doesn't matter. If you are a YouTube client of mine, you will be on the VIP list and you will get $50 readings from the bottom of my heart forever and always. So if you want to be on that list and you've thought about getting a reading from me, but you haven't yet, um, go ahead and schedule before August 1st and you will be on the forever and always $50 list, okay? So that being said, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a, a subscriber to this channel, you can click on the link in the box below. All right, you guys, here we go. I want to point something out here, Cancer, and this just blows my mind, okay? So we have Justice, the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the King of Swords. And then we come back up here and we have Justice, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Swords. There is some serious communication going on here. Communication, serious communication, serious decisions being thrown down on the table. And Cancer is drop dead serious here. I don't know what's going on or who it is that I'm tuning into, but somebody is just drop fucking dead serious about this particular situation. So what we're going to do is break it down, right? So you open this reading with justice, some kind of personal truth, some kind of, of justice has been served to you right here, right now, at the opening of this reading. The chariot, which is the card of cancer, by the way, tells me that you are taking some action to, to you're taking action, okay? I don't know what you're taking action to do, but you're taking action based on this justice that has come into your life, this personal truth, this un uncovered information, this cause and effect, whatever this is, you are taking some action, right? Not only are you taking action, but you're taking some serious action because justice to the chariot to justice cancer, justice to the chariot to justice to the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords. There is some serious... I don't even know what to call it. I don't even know what to call it. It's communication. It's truth. It's you learning a truth and taking action. You 
learn, you come upon some justice. You take action. Justice is served. Queen of Swords, the law is laid down. Cutting some shit out. The Page of Swords, this is more Swords energy. It's It might be return communication from somebody younger or in less of a position of power than you. But nevertheless, justice to the chariot, justice, queen of swords, page of swords. I mean, that is just like a pow, pow. It's like a right hook, a left hook, a right hook, a left hook, and a knee. It's like, boom, right? So what is the result of all of this? What's the result of this? The queen of swords, <laughs> right? The queen of swords, twice now. Swords, swords, swords. And this queen of swords to the nine of swords, right? Queen of swords, making decisions, cutting things out, speaking your truth. Nine of swords, whatever this is, just wrecks you, wrecks you with anxiety, throws you into a state of depression, intense anxiety, despair, hopelessness, torment, cancer. Whatever this is, is fucking huge and it throws you into a state of torment. Well, I wanted to know what it was, right? So what it was or what these cards, my interpretation of these cards is the 10 of cups, right? Where there was harmony, happiness, and values alignment in your life, in your relationships. There is now a misalignment of values and a broken home or a broken relationship. The page of cups comes in. This page of cups is about, this is, this is a messenger, right? So you got some information that hits you in your feels somehow, right? Some kind of information that hits you in the feels, a messenger, um, a creator, a beginning, right? Or, or cancer. I'm just saying maybe for some of y'all, for some of y'all, it could have been the, 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 the offer, somebody offering you, somebody bringing a message of some kind of, to, to create something and promised the 10 of cups, but it didn't turn out that way. So whatever for you guys, right? To the hangman. This hangman is all about pausing, right? You're going, putting the brakes on, putting the brakes on. You're pausing, you're, you're, you're processing all of this, right? Pausing and processing all of this. Well, while you're in the hangman energy processing, you come to absolute mental clarity. You have an absolute breakthrough and absolute mental clarity. So this huge argument, this fight, this exposure of truth, this, 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 whatever this was right here for you, you now have absolute mental clarity about what it is you're going to do. King of Swords says you are dropping the law, dropping the law. You are booting somebody the hell out. You are walking away. You are leaving somebody out in the cold. Because with the sun card, you see things crystal clear. I don't know how much more crystal clear than justice, justice, queen of swords, page of swords, queen of swords, nine of swords, ace of swords, and king of swords can be. I mean, that is like, the, I've never seen that before. This is like some serious fucking shit right here. And you are walking away. You're leaving it out in the cold because you see things crystal clear with the sun card. We come down here to the high priestess. Now, I would I want to talk about the high priestess, but I want to put the devil next to her, right? And then the three of swords right there. So what this tells me is that you know in your heart of hearts, in the blood that flows through your veins, that you are dealing with a toxic, hopefully not dangerous, but toxic toxic, stinky, nasty situation, either a toxic person or a toxic situation. But somebody in this whole scenario here is the devil for sure. 
three of swords, heartache, grief, pain, separation, rejection. That's what this was about. That's what all this was about right here, whatever that is for you. However, Cancer, never fear. The star is here. The star card, right? Star. So after all of this insanity up here, right? Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal is on the horizon for you. The world card comes in and says you are closing out all of this bullshit, closing out this cycle in your life. You've completed it and you're getting ready to start a brand new chapter of your life. Three of Wands says that you are preparing for expansion or that you should be preparing for expansion because your world is about to expand, Cancer. Your world is about to expand. Seven of Swords comes in and says there was betrayal and deception, deceit, shady behavior, somebody trying to get away with something, and you are breaking free from that. You are breaking free from your commitment to this situation or this person. Eight of Cups comes in and talks about disappointment, hopelessness, and walking away. Clarified by the Seven of Swords in reverse. Moving on. Breaking free of all of the mental challenges that were associated with deceit, lies, and betrayal. In a committed situation. Walking away from it. Releasing it. Letting it go. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now, Cancer? Well, you're going to manifest the Nine of Cups. You are focused on you. Two of Pentacles comes in and says, you, your priority is your happiness. That is your number one priority right now. Your absolute number one priority. Ace of Wands comes in and says that you are planning on having a, 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 you're going to create inspiration. You're going to create a new beginning in your life with the sun card twice. Sun card saying that, that this new creative beginning is going to bring happiness. It's going to bring a lot of happiness. The world card comes in and reiterates twice. One life cycle is ending for you and a new life cycle is beginning for you. And you're going to take a minute. You're going to take a knee, Cancer. You're going to take a knee. You're going to take a minute. And you're just going to process all of this. Not only in the hermit energy, but in the hangman energy as well. You're going to go inside. You're going to do some soul searching, some introspection. And you're going to, to seek some inner guidance as to exactly what it is you are going to do now. You're okay with it, though. The hermit is a good place to be. The hermit's the only place we get our mental shit done, right? I mean, like serious mental, the hermit is, is where we go. It's where we have to go. It's where we need to be. It's a great place to be. What you're doing in this hermit energy is you're contemplating your life with the emperor. You're contemplating the establishment, the structure of everything. And in this hermit mode, this new chapter that's starting for you, emerges the wheel of fortune. This is a turning point in your life. A total turning point in your life. Hangman, hermit, same, same energy right there. What you're, what you're deciding here in the hangman, in the hermit, is that you're taking all of the conflict with the five of wands, the disagreements, the competition, the strife, the tension, the conflict. And, and the five of wands is clarified by the five of wands. You're taking all of that conflict and you are using it as fuel to push you forward and give you an increased focus on your goals. 
So you're processing, you're letting go, you're coming out with a coming out of hermit and hangman with a new perspective. Your perspective is that you're going to take all of this conflict right here and you're going to use it as fuel to drive you towards your goals. Turning point in your destiny. Two world cards. This life cycle is over for you and you are about to start something that is beautiful. Beautiful. You are walking away from a commitment that was that was holding you hostage with some kind of some kind of shadiness right there right this whole situation you know in your heart of hearts that you're dealing with the devil himself and and it's nothing but heartbreak it's heartbreak and pain and grief and rejection some serious exchange of some serious communication up here leaves you laying down the law and leaving somebody out in the cold because with this ace of swords you see things crystal clear crystal clear there is no second guessing yourself here cancer pulled out some outcome cards for you the queen of wands success determination judgment an absolute irrevocable decision that's what happened up here an absolute irrevocable decision that results in a rebirth for you temperance comes in you are finding your purpose ace of pentacles you are going to manifest your own shit you're going to manifest your own shit eight of pentacles you're manifesting your own stuff your own opportunities. You might be burying yourself in work, or maybe this was all about work. I don't know, but you are going to um, have at it. You are going to keep going. You're going to be engaging. You're going to be working things out and things are going to work out for you. And there you are as the king of swords, clear thinking, intellectual power, personal authority, speaking your truth, being in complete and total control of the direction of your life. This is a beautiful reading, Cancer, a beautiful reading. I'm going to do this. I'm going to roll these dice and I want to see um, if the number that comes out, I want to see what the number comes out corresponds with the numerology for the overall of this reading. Eight. Wow. Double fours. Nice. Eight. Eight is, eight is movement action, change, rebirth, regeneration, reevaluation. It's success. It's recognition, accomplishment, and attainment. And that is what you did. Is that absolutely mind-blowing? So your spiritual number for the next two weeks of July is eight. Pay attention. If you see them around, eight is your number. Let's break it down four into four. So if we're talking about four, we're talking about structure, foundation, and stability, right? Which is which is exactly what you're creating for yourself right here. Wow, Cancer, that's pretty cool, isn't that neato? All right, you guys, that was your reading. If you'd like one from me, you can click the link in the box below. Remember, if you want to lock yourself in at the $50 price for the readings, you have to schedule by August 1st, and then there will be no more $50 YouTube readings for all of the new people that want to uh, come in and get readings after August 1st, okay? All right, I'll send everybody an email, let you know with a link for your special link to, to click on. Um, everybody who's already my client, I'll send you an email and you will be able to still schedule your $50 readings. All right. Namaste, you guys. Namaste.